Hey, this is Arno from Golden Lion, and in this video, I'll show you how you can take advantage of macros in Zoho CRM to automate quite a few of your repetitive processes. So what is a macro? A macro is a rule through which you can either send an email, or you can create a task, or you can update a field, or in fact, you can do all of this together for a single record or a group of records. So let's take an example over here. So assume that you meet a certain number of leads on a given day, and once you come back office or your home, you want to send them a personalized emails to all of these leads. Also, you want the lead status to be changed to contacted. And you want a follow up task so that you can go, go ahead and uh, follow up with those leads, say, after two days of sending this email. Okay, now in order to achieve this, you have to create a macro inside the leads module. And the way it is to be done is as follows click on run macro over here and then click on create macro. Give a name of the macro, so let me keep the name as thank you macro. And in the description, write down what this macro is supposed to do. So this will, A, send a thank you email to lead. B, this will change the lead status to contacted and see uh, this will create a follow-up task so this is what the macro is supposed to do now in order to create the email click on choose a template over here and then see whether the t the template exists over there or not so i'm saying that thank you email template doesn't exist over here so go ahead and create a template over here now this is the email template creation section now you can see this template is getting created for the leads module so give a template name so i think the name is thank you email this would be stored under public email templates and then you can decide like from which email id this email should go to so you can choose either your name or any of your colleagues email address for this example i'm saying record owner's email that means whoever owns that lead the email should go from that email id then the subject let me get the subject of the email as thank you for your time and then in the reply to you can put an email address where you want the reply of this email should go to for example lot of companies have got an email address like info at the rate xyz.com or inquiry at the rate xyz.com so you can put that part of it if you have one else you can leave it blank let me go ahead and click on add user signature so that every time i send an email my signature should get added. You may also decide to attach a file over here. Let me now compose the email. So dear, let me personalize it with the lead's first name. Choose the first name over here. Uh, copy this part of it. Uh, paste it over here. And then you can say, thank you for your time today. And then you can say, look forward business with you okay and then you can do some formatting over here so let me pull this part of it let me also uh, maybe change the font over here let me change the font to Georgia and also the font size now once I'm happy with the entire formatting I can go ahead and save this email template now you can see that one email template has been created uh, for the leads module okay now let me go back to the macro over here let me refresh this one and now i can see that the thank you email uh, appeared under the email template add this part of it now in order to update the field that means i want to update the lead status to contact it click on configure field over here choose uh, lead status and select the value as contacted and click on configure okay now i also wanted to uh, create a task so that I can go back and follow up those leads after two days of execution of this macro. So click on configure task over here. Uh, subject is say follow up call. I want to fo follow up after two days. So this is due to this two days from the execution of this macro. These are the different status of the task. Now, since this task is yet to be started, I'm putting not started. You can set the priority as well over here. Let me put the priority as high. 
assigned to that means who this task should be assigned so you can assign it to yourself or to any of your team members as well now if you keep it blank so in that case the lead owner becomes the task owner as well now over here you can say that uh, reminder and then you can remind it over here so for example I want uh, the reminder to come on the same day as the due date say in the morning say around 8 30 a.m. and the reminder should come through email let me go ahead and click on configure over here and click on create so my macro is created now now assume that on a given business day I've met uh, two leads John Waller from PQR Incorporation and Francis Waller from 31 I want to send them a personalized thank you email I also want the lead status to be changed to contacted and I also wanted to create a follow-up task so that I can go back and follow up with these leads so let me select these two records over here click on run macro I click on thank you macro over here and click on run the moment you do that see what happens over here so you'll be able to see uh, like this is getting applied over here and if you now go back to these leads over here like if you click on John Waller over here now uh, you'll be able to see the details of this record as well okay you'll be able to see that the lead status has been changed to contact it over here uh, you can see that there's a new open activity has been created which is follow-up call uh, status is not started due to is two days from now and then you can also see that one email has been sent out to this lead and this is the email thank you for your time and if you click on that you can see this has been personalized very well your signature has also been added over here okay how cool is that with just of a one click of a button you have been able to send a personalized email update your field inside the leads module and also create a follow-up task so this can potentially save a lot of your valuable time throughout the day and throughout the month okay now there could be a lot of other scenarios where you can use a macro to save your time and this is going to be a very very powerful tool for you uh, if you're going to excel in the sales function now there are quite a few things you need to keep in mind when you are trying to set up a macro first thing macros can be set for the following modules for the leads module for the contacts module over here and also for the potentials module over here okay Point number two, like macros are user specific. That means every user needs to create their own macro. As an administrator, you cannot create macro for the users from one single place. Number three, the user who is trying to create a macro or run a macro, you need to ensure that that user in their respective profile, okay, if you go to the, to the profile over here, there are three things has to be enabled over here. One is the mass email capability second the mass update capability the third is create activity and the fourth thing that you need to keep in mind like for each macro you can configure up to one email three tasks and three field updates so hope you have enjoyed this video if you have got any question feel free uh, feel free to visit the golden line website which is glandconsulting.com over here you can do a live chat with us or in the contact page you can leave your details and we promise to get back to you exactly within 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic day ahead.